For this one, we're going to take a look at the new Colorize Neural Filter. To get to it, you go to Filter, and then you go down to Neural Filters. Once you've opened this up, you want to go to the Beta Filters, and then you'll see the one that will say Colorize. Yours will have a cloud icon if you've not used it before, so you just pretty much want to download it and install that filter. Once you've got it installed, we're going to enable it. First of all, you have the focal point, you have the colors, and then you have the color focus. The focal points allows you to select a specific color and apply it to that area. We can go to color and let's go with a baby blue for the sky, something like this. And then we left click to apply it onto this area right here. And as you can see, it now has filled it in with a blue. But if you wanted a different color, we can always go back into here and readjust it. Put something much lighter like this and see what it looks like. That looks a little bit better. It's a little bit more realistic. If you wanted to, you can always move this point. So you can left click and then drag it out and move it, let's say up here, and this will change the results each time. So as you can see, since we moved it up here, we now have an area where it didn't apply it. Best place to put this is in the middle. Now let's say you had an area where it didn't really pick much up. If you had something like that, you can hold Alt or Option key and then drag it out and this will duplicate the point. So that will fill that area in as well. Now, since we don't really want that one, we're going to remove it from here. Next up is the building. We can left click on the building and then we can apply a sort of a brick color, which is like a bit of a orange mixed with a red. And then we're going to press okay. And this will start to color in the building. We're also going to focus on the mountains as well. We're going to click on here and then let's give this more of a green, pretty a little bit more, something like this. You can also left click and then that will remember the previous color. This building down here, we're going to go with a cream color, we're going to go with something like a yellow mixed in with orange, something like this. But we're also going to add a snow color because it's also splashed onto that area as well. So we're going to change this one into a white. I've just noticed as well down here, the building isn't colored in. You can hold Alt or Option key and then drag this one down to apply it to that bottom bit as well. And there we go, that has done a better job. And you just pretty much want to keep on plotting points and choosing a color for that area. For example, this one's going to be a white for the snow. And this is similar to as if you are going to do it with a layer and a brush, but instead the AI will pretty much do the work. And sometimes you'll run into problems like this where you can see a little bit right there where it's done a little error. So to fix that, we're going to apply a white color to that area. And there we go, that has fixed it. If you want to, you can then scroll down and then you have your options. We're gonna go with a bit more red. We're going to go with a little bit more blues and a little bit more greens. And then finally you have the focus color. So basically this is like the saturation, how strong you want it to be on the color. You've got yourself a preview button right at the bottom. We could turn this off and on to see the results. Once you're happy with all your settings, we can go to output and then pray to duplicated layer masked. And then we can go ahead and press okay. And there we go. We've now colorized a black and white photo. So this is the after and then this is the before. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you colorize a old black and white photo using the colorize filter. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the video. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.